I'm Ruby and today I'm at Hatton's Lion Country Park for the National Cyclocross Championships. Let's see who I can find to talk to. Hi, I'm now joined with the awesome Emily Wadsworth. How are you? I'm good, thank you. How are you? I'm good, thanks. I see you do a lot of mountain biking. Is that your favourite thing to do? Yeah, that's my main focus at the moment, um, but obviously cyclocross is almost just as fun, so I'm enjoying doing that in the winter. Do you still get time to go out on family bike rides? Yeah, whenever I'm at home I always make the effort to go out with my dad or my sisters because that's where it's all started, so it's really fun to do that. Have you got any tricks? <laughs> Not many, <laughs> but... Uh, yeah, no, I don't really have many tricks. You're probably better than me. I've seen your videos on the rollers, so I'm pretty impressed. I was watching them last night and I was, yeah, I was very impressed. <laughs> what is it like to ride abroad? It's very different to riding in the UK, but it's, I'd say that the race in the UK now, it's almost quite similar to racing abroad, just because the standards got so much higher but it sets you up really well for racing abroad and it yeah racing abroad is amazing like it's also nice when it's sunny in the summer to go somewhere but yeah do you remember your first bike yeah i do i it's specialized it was like hard rock i think is it <laughs> yeah. yeah it's just a little black specialized bike my all mine was it just a little bike called blossom and flowers and a basket what colour was it? It was white and pink. Good colour What tips do you have for any kids? I'd say just go out on your bike and just enjoy riding. Just that's all you need to do. What plans have you got for 2018? Um, so hopefully I'm going to be racing my first World Cups this year on the mountain bike. So they're the, the big plans and then the goals to go to the world champs in Switzerland at the end of the year, so they're the that's what I'm working towards. Thank you for joining me. Thank you for joining me, Emily Woodworth. You're awesome. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thank you. You're awesome too. Thank you. I'm here with the awesome Daniel Tullet. Hi, Daniel. Hiya. Do you remember your first ever race? I do. Yes. Yeah. It was at Eastway, which is where the London. Olympic game site is now. Do you think cyclists is a good way for for kids to learn skills on their bike? Uh, yeah, it's the easiest sport to get into, I think. I've got an awesome specialised bike. Can you tell me a little bit about your bike? I've seen your bike, it's awesome. So mine is a specialised S-Works Crux with a full strand group set and zip wheels and finishing kit. What tip would you have for any kids watching this? Um, just have fun. Yeah, just enjoy it. Enjoy getting out and riding your bike. Thank you. Thank you for joining me, Daniel Tullet. You're awesome. Good luck for the rest of the season. Thanks a lot. And you. Hi, hi, I'm so pleased to say I'm joined by the awesome side of the superstar, Helen White. First, it's brilliant to see you here at the Cyclocross National Thank you very much, it's good to see you too, Ruby. Thank you. How old were you when you first learned to ride a bike? Oh, how old was I? Probably about three or four years old. But when I was really little, I used to sit on the tandem with my dad, and my brother was on the back, and then I was on the chance seat on the back of that. Yeah, and I used to make them go really fast. And why are you always awesome at racing? <laughs> um, when I was young, to be fair, there wasn't actually that many women, so I did win a lot, but there wasn't a great competition. Now there's a lot more riders, so yeah, I was always awesome. <laughs> what was the first? What was your first ever race you ever done? Um, I did a criterion race in a little village called Bungie in Norfolk, and I won it. It was great. I really enjoyed it. 
Did you always love cyclocross at a young age? Yes, I did actually. Um, I did road racing as well, but I always preferred cyclocross. There's something special about riding what feels like a road bike for off road and being able to get muddy and, and it's okay. Can you tell me a little bit about, can you tell me a little bit about the kit you are wearing? And some of the amazing people who are supporting you. Yes, yes I can. So, this is my kit, Zypex Verge Sport. Zypex is a um, concrete waterproofing uh, chemical, verge made clothing. And then I've got number 38, which is Bradley Smith, a MotoGP rider. Um, I've got Look One No Hands, Charm City, Look One No Hands Cafe in London, Charm City, which is a bike race in America, um, Challenge Tires, um, what am I missing? What am I missing? Movie? Oh, Ripper Rip Brothers, which is a coffee company. Um, Oh, kind human, my bicycles. They are amazing and they are very kind humans. So, you were British Cyclocross Champion from 2006 to 2015. Is there any of those races that stand for others? No. Uh, the first one was very special because I was able to beat a rider called Louise Robinson who had second in the World Championships. So she was really good and she was my hero. And there's something special about being able to beat a hero. Um, and since then, today, because it's the 10th one, so that's pretty cool. You have been so supportive to me and other kids. I even wrote in the chat the kit, in the kit you gave me. What is the best thing about being a, an amazing cyclist? Coaching kids. Um, the best thing is how excited they get when they do something for their life. And actually being able to show someone how to do something it just makes me feel good. And I, I love how happy it puts it on the <laughs> What would you do if you were in charge of when you're cycling? Oh, what would I do? So much. The first thing I'd do is make the time the same. So the men and the women would race at the same time. The next thing I'd do is equalise the World Cup and the prize money. So then every category of racing is exactly equal. Um, the next thing I'd do would be have a um, World Championships for juniors. There is one for girls at the minute. And then I'd, then I'd turn my attention to the road. <laughs> so, what is next up for you and your new team? My next race is tomorrow in Belgium, and then uh, next weekend I have a race in uh, Nome in France, then Hugo uh, in Holland, and then the World Championships in Holland. There's a lot of questions. <laughs> Where is the best place you have ever ridden your bike? The most amazing place I've ever ridden my bike is my hometown, Ren Le Band in France, and it's absolutely beautiful. It's one of the nicest places to ride. It's so quiet and just spectacular views everywhere you go, and it just makes it happy. What tips would you have for any kids watching this? Um, go out, have fun, try things, and smile because my racing is fun. Thanks, Helen. You're awesome. Good luck for the rest of the season. <laughs>